Good morning. I'm going to turn on some lights and tell you a story. Okay, yesterday I posted pictures from my studio. And, um, you know, there's some fun stuff going on. But I just wanted to remind y'all that things don't always work. Um, so, I was going to add another layer of tea, and I got my, um, paints mixed up, and these are two big, beautiful, at one time, pieces of paper and painting, and I got my watercolor um, mixture mixed up with my acrylic and now they're stuck together. Like, like they're stuck. Yes, this is horrifying. And, yep, there's a hole in it now. And I didn't get the effect I wanted. Let's see. So you see what's... We don't normally post this kind of stuff. We want it to all look like magic. Ah. And it is magic. But magic comes. What is that? Say, magic always costs you something. Golly, it's very expensive. This one's shredded. <laughs> so, um, this was a lighter weight print paper. So that's why it tore as opposed to the really heavy weight watercolor paper. And I will find a way to use this. Somehow, somewhere, someday. Um, later, I will spend a good deal of time trying to get this off. And then I'll be able to come in here and get more of it off. The advantage to this one is that the lighter paper is what's tearing and not the watercolor paper. I continued this error on everything I showed you yesterday. So, let me show you what that looks like. Um, okay. Remember this one? It was long. So this was watercolor on top of watercolor, and um, it, it tore into it. Oh, whoops. Well, let's see if that goes. All right. And then this is the one you can see. Okay, here we go. See, you can see where it's. And um, those are shorter than yesterday, in case you were wondering. And then here's some of the pieces that got hit a little harder. And then I cut out some of the pieces that I could salvage, maybe make some smaller pieces. I don't normally work small, 
but that may be the result of this. So just remember when, when you ask, how long did that take? And somebody gets upset and says, it took me 30 years. This is a lot of our process. Things don't work. And if you want to buy safe art, that's great. There may be less of this, but when you get stuff that includes experimentation and trying to push what materials can and can't do, the artist has had more than a few of these. And just know that this is part of our process and this is how part of how long it took to make that beautiful painting that you're going to hang on your wall. It involved a great deal of blood, sweat, and tears and I don't know. I don't mean to be complaining. This is all beautiful stuff. Look at this. I, these are going to make some small paintings that are going to be magnificent. I'll collage this into different things. Nothing's going to be wasted. It's just not where I thought I was going or what I'd hoped for. Which is fine. Because um, you always follow the art. Okay. Let me turn this sideways. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I kind of like that. Maybe I'll do it on the other one and cover up the big hole. Alright, get some of the garbage out. There it goes.